The Bureau of Reclamation has had a technical exchange program since the 1940s. That program has brought hundreds of water, mechanical, and civil engineers from around the world to the United States to study reclamation projects. Its purpose is to share agency expertise with visitors who will take that knowledge back home to solve water and power problems in their own countries. Such was the case recently as Azar Salim Sheikh, Yusuf Khan, Syed Tanvir Abbas, and Mir Afsar visited the Bureau of Reclamation's office in Provo. The four men from the Pakistani Water, Power, and Development Authority have been in the U.S. visiting reclamation facilities for about seven weeks. Mr. Abbas, who is the hydrology technical officer for the WAPDA, elaborated. The main purpose of this training is to get familiar with the uh, development in dam construction and monitoring at the USA, uh, especially the roller compactor concrete dam construction because we are going to construct uh, many uh, RCC dams in Pakistan in future. The visit was organized through Reclamation's Foreign Activities Office and took the group to several facilities. The Materials Engineering and Research Lab at Reclamation's Technical Service Center in Denver has had a long relationship with many engineering agencies abroad, including Pakistan's. In the 1980s, Reclamation invited geotechnical engineers from Pakistan who wanted to learn more about sedimentation. And last year, the WAPDA requested to visit the U.S. to pick up more technical expertise in overall design and construction. The goal is to help the Pakistanis acquire the expertise they need to build RCC dams. Tim Dolan is a research civil engineer in Denver. He was a group guide and showed them some of the finer points of RCC construction using Upper Stillwater as an example. And you see the layers here individually, we did not want to have one layer stacked upon the other without bonds. If you look at the far side of the foundation, you see monolithic behavior between the rocks and the foundation, which is similar to what we are trying to achieve in the behavior of the dam. The four WAPDA engineers are one of several Pakistani teams which are currently visiting other RCC dams around the world, like China's Three Gorges Dam, to learn how to build the envisioned Daimer Basha Dam. The training has been pretty extensive. Including geotechnical, seismology, instrumentation, sedimentation, so all these are very useful in the dam design and dam safety as well. Pakistan's Daimer Basha Dam will be located on the Indus River in Pakistan and it will be the world's largest RCC dam, towering more than 300 feet above the iconic Hoover Dam in Arizona. The Daimer Basha Dam will also be 600 feet longer, five times higher, and have 16 times the volume of the RCC dam the group came to Utah to study, Upper Stillwater. The visit highlights the reality that water issues know no boundaries in the 21st century, and greater cooperation, including the sharing of technical knowledge, can help alleviate local, regional, and transnational water issues. The opportunity to do that through the partnering with Reclamation wasn't lost on the guests. Uh, we Pakistanis are uh, uh, very happy to work a little bit with the uh, USBR and uh, it, is, uh, for, uh, it is helpful for, uh, for us to continue our technical uh, assistance technical uh, uh, collaboration with the USPR. The men will visit several more facilities before returning to Bashir, Pakistan in the next few weeks. They said they hope to come back to the U.S. to see more dams. If they do, language won't be a problem, since these engineers all speak a special language of passion and formulas, and in this case, international cooperation.